Okay. Here we go. I should probably get a big old guzzle of water first. But I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Because I'm trash. You know what? I am gonna. Because I'm not trash. And God has taught me better. Hold on just a second. Why we refuse to hydrate, I will never know. Ever. This is this a little table here I have. I didn't realize how big Amara. She an Amazon, right? She's an Amazon. So what I'm doing with this is, but I think I'm gonna wait till she gets halfway up these evergreens. Let's see, halfway up the evergreens. And then I'm gonna top her off, eat her, eat her out. <laughs> eat this whole top. Well, some of y'all know how it does when you top off your plants. So I might top it off here to have the branches split at that point. And then come up like a V with two branches. Hopefully, if not, I do see I'm going to just replace, uh, the, at that point, replace this all together. I have my string beans and my little violas on the ends there. See, boop. Neighbors having a 4th of July situation. For the children. But this is Wilona. Hey girl, hey, she's starting to vine out nicely. I'm starting to decide how I want to maneuver the vines when they come out. There's Rose, there's Crimberly. I just lollipopped her again. But she's doing great. She's starting to flower. All these green beans are flowering and I do have little string beans starting on them. Happy about that. They seem to get a little more heat than they need here but i'm okay with it and they're okay with it as well because they also get quite a bit of shade purple tree collards tree collar cuttings and on this end inside these little cups here are tip cuttings so that they can get the height that purple tree collards get this is uh kimberly's one of kimberly's babies oh i got another flower did i pollinate I started hand pollinating her because well I'll show you on on the mother plant but these are my verbenas here are BB's kids Bina's babies aka BB's kids <laughs> cucumber has a big old flower down there you know once she gets a flower so these other vines will start coming out and I will latch them onto these to be trellised. Oh my God. I think that is the first, gonna be the first fruit on my Jamaica cherry. I'm glad I didn't chop these larger branches off. Hey girl, hey. I don't think that's a ladybug though. That might be one of the dangerous friends. In fact, I won't make any assumptions in case she is a friend, but she could be the same hoe that did this, this damage right here. I don't know if you can see because the sun is a glare, honey. But yeah. Oh my God, y'all. I think I have a fruit bloom on my freaking Jamaican cherry. It's way at the top though, girl. Chill. But that means we get to taste that fruit though. Um, here's Cher. I meant to sell this whole bunch of Cher. She look, she trying to bust up out of there. I did see, girl, I couldn't throw you away. And I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it. Man, sell it to somebody in Florida or Cali that can grow year round. Cause I know the season is late for us. Another little viola here in front, like buy a couple of more string beans. Um, here's Mama Crimbley doing amazing. Look how big this freaking fruit is. It's not even beginning to blush yet, so it has a lot more growing to do. I'm excited. I do see other fruit forming after all. Do I? Oh, that's empty. Y'all, some of these things are 
I'm like, why y'all don't have no tomato in you? <laughs> so anyway, I've been hand pollinating the flowers. What the whole hell? I have a whole stack of things right there, flowers right there that should have had fruit on it. So how many, how many tomatoes am I shitted out of? Like about 30. See about 30 flowers. Yeah, that I've been shitted out of fruit. Salad bed. Whew. It's looking really nice. I have a couple of string beans on either end. I have four, I have two collars on this side, but there and there. I'm gonna put two more on this side. There's a Mara there. It's being great, being great. Again, when she gets halfway up those evergreens, I'm gonna top her off and see if she grows me two shoots. I suspect that she will. I have two rows of spinach in the front. They're about done, so I'm gonna replace them. I do have starts right here. In fact, they're the only things that have popped up, all these. So yeah, I'm going to replace all those spinach in front and, the, and the, the two rows. Still trying to grow my red leaf lettuce. All the empty dirt is, is red leaf lettuce. <laughs> you can see some of the, her fruit has blushed. I saw it turn on for go from yellow to orange and then it was kind of uh, pliable beyond that. And I was like, oh, this must be the color. So sun gold is more of an orange tomato and it has a sweetness but still holds on to its tomato flavor i may sit down and do a flavor comparison with all the tomatoes i've had i've grown and tasted more string beans with the violas on either side uh, there's my purple sprout and broccoli is that actually standing pretty strong there's a spider web connected to it that i let stay there because uh, I harvested all the bigger leaves and so the little ones in the middle were left and Looked like they were being attacked by cabbage moths. So I want to go ahead and let the spider Let see that see how I did my shit So there's a little spider web. I don't know if you can see it right there Oh Right. Oh right there But anyway I'm gonna let it do what it do. There's Bina, BB. There's the brick bed. Um, here I have my onions that I have harvested. You can see where I refill that uh, soil spot, spot that they dug up, that the animals dug up, and replace the mulch on top of it. So when that gets watered down, it'll settle. Crimberly. I should have put a little more soil in her, but it's fine. I'll know next year. Next year, I need to leave about at least eight inches so I can fill and I, I top it off with four inches of soil and then have room for just a small layer of mulch. I think I might have the vines all up and through here. I was gonna have maybe one come up in front and then one in back, but I think they both maybe ought to be back there. Yeah, so here's Rose. <laughs> I'm gonna start, I'm start taking her leaves for tea pretty soon because between this one and the other one they'll be ready for that i don't generally have enough of a growing season for calyxes i don't think i have learned so yeah hands-free watering brick bed swiss shard swiss shard swiss shard there are five three switch three swiss shard and two sugar beet here um, I was harvesting the Swiss chard, but y'all know once it gets started, it don't stop. So I actually decided to let them get really big and maybe take a harvest to the relatives. Uh, I may grow either orange or spinach in between them. It's my string beans in the middle. I have two Amara here, Amara here. I'm going to let them go ahead and get pretty tall because they add a nice pop of color. To the whole bed. <laughs> Nats, they're loving the sweat, I guess. I have my carrots that are coming along nicely around here. But that red leaf lettuce did real nice out here before, so I don't know. We'll see. Carrots. Um, I have my four okra. 
Here's the biggest one. I'm going to just lollipop this right quick. Mm. So many gnats out here. I can't. That's all. I have one, two, three, four okra and sugar beet in the middle. Both of these cranberries doing well. This is the first flower on this one. And that's how that first flower looks. That first flower will be looking like this, y'all. Look how huge. Crimbly always get a big giant first flower that doesn't even look like a tomato flower. And the tomato be so enormous. But yeah, they're both flowering nicely. This string bean, this, could, this is my first kahuna flower nicely. Here are my two Amaras. This one is getting enough shade to stay red, but this one is getting, you know, ouch. Fuck. I scratched myself with Spider-Man and broke skin. Anyway, here's the purple tree collard. I'm going to harvest these leaves. This is apparently where the birds have been, and I'm going to sprinkle cayenne right all up in there. Next time I get scared of cat, I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to come. Oh, okay, I need to. What the fuck? I meant to lollipop her. I'm going to. I'm going to do anything with these bottom branches no nothing with those okay let me go do this because these gnats are really coming for me okay so everything is so beautiful i told y'all two weeks and we're at the end of the first week where everything's doing what i had said it was gonna do but this makes me so happy so happy see that little see that little boop right there gonna fill that whole thing up I'm so excited I didn't know I had a flower bulb on my my Jamaican cherry I'm excited now let me lollipop this callaloo and get these other seeds get these couple of other seeds uh, started popped off 